Peace and greetings to you. This is Dr. O, the PA Pro, otherwise known as just plain old Omar Abdul Malik. I hope you can hear me. I'm still at work, so there's a lot of extemporaneous noise that the, the uh, camera, my phone may pick up. But anyway, I, I wanted to do a video on uh, getting into PA school. I hadn't done one in, I think it's been several months, but I was getting a lot of uh, comments on my, my uh, the comments section of some of the videos that I've done about um, people saying that they couldn't decide between being a PA or an MD or wanting to know was I really happy with with um, you know being a PA uh, again as I as I I'll reiterate what I said before really it's, it's your life you can't judge, and, and I have a bad habit of doing this, you can't judge your projected satisfaction with your career decisions or, or life decisions based upon what you see other people doing. You know, there was a time I, I met uh, Dr. Ben Carson uh, maybe almost 25 years ago. I had read his book, um, Gifted Hands. I was like, oh, I want to be a neurosurgeon. I had no idea how much work it took to become a neurosurgeon. I, I just didn't. I didn't have a clue. So for those of you all that are that may look at some of my other videos that that extend into my other life as as a dad and a um, um, an educator and, and, a, and an athlete uh, and say, "Well, okay, that's PA. That's the thing I want to do." This guy's got a good life. I, I would I would issue a caveat, um, and and say that don't base what you want to do based off of what I say. If, if that makes any sense, for for those of you all that are kind of torn between PA school versus med school, I would say I I'm theistically inclined. Hence the the Kufi and the the uh, the um, I'm Muslim, so I I I pray about things and. And you know, let, let God kind of guide me to where I'm. He wants me to be. Um, you, you can do that, and, and um, you know, really follow shadow as many people as you can. Uh, shadow doctors um, who specialize in different things. Shadow physician assistants who specialize in in different things. Um, the thing that I like, I personally like about being a physician assistant is that it's such a young field and it's so versatile. I'm now doing something called, um, it's, it's uh, kind of long-term acute care management of sick patients and, and working with an extraordinary team of people, doctors, nurses, techs, therapists, uh, to kind of help people get as well as they possibly can and, and hopefully go home. Um, for for other people, yeah, come on. Okay, sorry, but but um, you know, it, it's I I actually work pretty long hours. Um, I'm 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 handsomely rewarded for it. I'll say, yeah, uh, it, it's but I feel I'm well respected. Um, but you know, don't base that, don't base your decision off of off of what I'm saying. Um, in terms of getting into PA school, it's so much harder than when I applied, you know, almost 20 years ago now. Oh my God, I mean, you have to have a bachelor's degree. Uh, Dave DuBose, the, uh, the PA coach, mentioned GPA. Um, check his videos out. Uh, you know, you have to have at least a three, I would say a 3.5 or 3.3 um, is what he said. I would, I would tend to concur with that. You should have a 3.3 science GPA, um, a good solid year of direct patient care contact, um, meaning you're a CNA working in a hospital or a, a, a long-term care facility, um, an EMT. Uh, I always go to the EMTs, um, uh, emergency medical technicians, when, when I see them uh, and ask them if they're interested in PA school. Uh, th this constitutes direct patient care. You're, you're using using a stethoscope. You're you're getting uh, very, um, I would say, rudimentary um, uh, skills into physical assessment. 
and in uh, clinical decision making. Uh, d you know, if you if you have that that um, direct patient contact hours, and I can't tell you exactly how many hours you need because every school differs. I mean, some schools want you know, a, a, I don't maybe a hundred hours. Other schools want a thousand hours. You know, so it varies. Um, if you're if you don't feel, and this is another caveat I would ask you, if you don't feel that you're a particularly competitive applicant at this time, I would say give yourself a year to become a competitive applicant because you don't want to waste your time, you don't want to waste your money, you don't want to waste the time of, of other physician assistants like myself. I write recommendations for PAs on the CASPA. It's a lot of time. You know, writing the, having a student follow you, you're trying to teach the student or the, the pre-PA student, then writing the recommendation. If you're not a strong applicant at this time, if you don't have at least a 3.3 GPA, if you haven't finished all of your prerequisites, um, you, you have to have a bachelor's degree now. Uh, you have to have, for, for I'd say a little more than half the schools, maybe 60% of the schools now, want, GR, want you to take the GRE. Now, I, I took the GRE, I don't know, 25 years ago. So I, I don't even know what the format is now, but it, suffice it to say, it's just way more competitive now. They want they want you to have very good recommendations. You know, so it's 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 something to think about. Um, if in making the decision between PA school versus med school, I have a few classmates that became doctors. Um, Niraj Mandarada, you can. Google his name, and he's 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 on YouTube. I'm, I'm so proud of him. He he worked as a um, as a PA for several years, and uh, decided to go on to become um, a doctor. And I think he's an internist now. Uh, Sharif Massacoy is another one. Uh, Glennis Pitts, I believe, is a, is a doctor now. So several of my classmates. Just I, I'm proud of them because they chose to continue their education. Um, and, and, and that was their decision. I, I chose to go on and get a, uh, a doctorate in health education. I think I, I would like to um, run a PA program someday in my future. Inshallah, God willing. We'll, we'll see what happens. But, um, y you know, it, it's, you know, with, with being a PA, applying to PA school versus med school, that's something that, that you really need to decide for yourself. I would say time is a factor. Um, which is why I think there is a preponderance of, of, of women applying to PA school. It's 80% women, I think, is, the, uh, is in the field now because they want to start families and get married. So, so you need to consider time, you need to consider money, um, and most importantly, I would say uh, consider you know, what's important to you in life. I hope this helped. Um, you're welcome to call me. I'll put my number on my, my uh, YouTube channel, and you can also um, email me. I'll, I'll, I'll look over your, your CASPA statement, your um, personal statement for your, uh, your CASPA application for free. And if you're in the Washington, D.C., Maryland, or Virginia area, you can, you can shadow me, um, hopefully, God willing. So I, I hope you found this helpful. I jumped around a lot, but um, you know, it, it's, there's a lot of things to discuss. And, Inshallah, God willing, I'll, I'll do it in future videos also. So please subscribe to my, my channel. Tell your friends and family and uh, prospective uh, PA students about me. Um, and I wish you the best of success. Peace.